Today, I wanted to talk to you about entrepreneurship. I started my side hustle in 2019. I did not know that I was going to be sticking with the side hustle turned entrepreneurship. And now that I've been doing it, I'm in love with it. I cannot see myself. I love working, but I also love creating and building something for myself. That's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I realized that it's okay to still keep your full-time job uh no <laughs> hello 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 <laughs> Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Lisa Lana Ola from lisalanaola.com. Welcome to Learn, Laugh, Live with Lisa. Once again, I'm Lisa Lana Ola from lisalanaola.com. Thank you to everybody that visited the website uh, yesterday. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And you are amazing, right? I got new hair. I got new, 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 new hair. Um, I wanted to just change up my color and that's it. I just went, I just went into the beauty supply store, picked out a color and did it. Um, and I'm still getting used to it. So it's still fairly new. It's like maybe two weeks old. So I'm still getting used to it, but I love the, I love trying different colors. So that's just that I got new hair. So today I wanted to talk to you about entrepreneurship, of course. Da -da -da -da. Entrepreneurship, my favorite, favorite thing. Um, I'm fairly new to it, like I said. Like if you, well, let me tell you in case this is your first time watching, you don't know who I am. My name is Lisa Naola. I am a fairly new empty nesting. My daughter um she went to college she left the house about three years ago so i'm fairly new empty nester i am a new entrepreneur i started my side hustle in 2019 and i i created a company um an actual company in 2020 during the pandemic yes i was part of the crazy crew of people that um started their entrepreneurship journey during the pandemic and i'm still here and i'm loving it i love learning i did not know that i was going to be sticking with um the side hustle turned entrepreneurship and now that i've been doing it i'm in love with it i cannot see myself um well i love work well this is what i'm gonna hear to talk about i love working but i also love you know creating and building something for myself that's what i'm going to be talking about today it's going to be about working keeping your nine to five and doing building your business slowly steadily but surely right so i became a new entrepreneur i have my own website it's lisalanaola.com i promote all over the place um in your email, you can add your email to links.lisalanaola.com and Instagram all over the place, right? Socials everywhere. So what I wanted to talk to you about was I didn't take any formal business education, like a college courses, none of that, right? Didn't, didn't do that. But I learned about entrepreneurship and I'm here and I'm building and I'm learning as I go. And I wanted to free you from something that I had to free myself from recently. Um, entrepreneurship, what I, well, I've worked in businesses and I've seen people build businesses and build brands and stuff like that, right? But I've never really been like close to it. I've been just an employee, right? So now that I'm building my own, I realize that it's okay to still keep your full-time job because i see a lot of it on social media where people are you know they quit their job and they went into their entrepreneurship full-time and i was like okay maybe that's the way to do it that's what i'm supposed to be doing quitting my job and you know um doing it that way uh no <laughs> if you're if you don't have um I'm the type of person that I like a steady income. I've this, like I said, I am a new entrepreneur. I didn't know anything about it. My mother, my father wasn't, my grandparents, nobody was an entrepreneur, right? I, I'm doing this thing on my own. So 
I always worked. I've worked since I was about 19. I've always had a job and um, I like having a paycheck. I like having a paycheck once a week or once every two weeks whenever it comes in, right? And it, that could be different for you. But I like having, knowing that I'm secure. If anything happens, I have this money coming in for sure. I love it. It's what I've always had, right? So I, what I've seen on socials and people talking, it's like when you're building, you're supposed to put all your effort into whatever you're building. You're supposed to hustle, 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 hustle hard and do all of this kind of stuff. I started in 2020. I started because um, I wasn't working during the pandemic. We had to stay home. So I stayed home for almost a year, right? So I had time to build my business. I was push, putting in all my hours, putting in all my time and it grew, grew, grew. It was growing like fast, you know? And then um, I had to go back to work. So I started putting myself on a schedule where I would work my job, come home, put a couple of hours in, um, in my business and so on and so forth. And I was doing that all the time because that is what you're supposed to do, right? That's what I heard, you're supposed to do that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to work on my job, come home, put a couple hours in and grind, grind, grind. I was beat, I was, I was tired because I am a fun person. I like to have fun. I like to um go out. Be with my family, be with my friends. I like to socialize. I'm very extroverted. I like to be out there. And I wasn't having time for that because I was all burnt out. I was so tired. So I had to get myself on a schedule. And I'm telling you, I'm freeing you that it's okay to set your own schedule as an entrepreneur. No one's telling you what to do you own it. You can do what you want to do. If you want to build slow, build slow. If you want to go fast, go fast. What I have done recently in the past couple of months is I have worked my nine to nine to five, but it hasn't been nine to five for me. I've been putting in 12, 13, sometimes 14 hours a day Monday through Thursday, and then I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and that's when I go hard with my business and my social life because I like to, like I said, you won't be able to do it all because I still want to be able to cook for myself and my family. I still want to be able to work out, eat healthy. I still want to be able to socialize. I still want to be able to do it all, right? And you're not going to do it all perfectly. That's the thing. I am a perfectionist. I like to you know, do things to the best of my ability. And I thought I was failing as an entrepreneur because I wasn't hustle, 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 grind, grind, grind. And I'm like, no, that hustle and that grind stuff, it's not, that's not me. That's not who I am. It's not who I want to be. I want to be able to work my I call it a nine to five, but for me, it's like a 12, 12, 14 hour day, right? And a lot of people look at me like, you know, why are you pushing that hard? Why do you work so many hours? And I'm like, it's because I have a goal. I actually have a five to six year goal that I really, really, really want to hit. And I am the kind of person that if I have a goal, I'm going to get it, right? I'm going to push towards it. And it's been like, entrepreneurship is being flexible. You have to be flexible because sometimes um I could I could apply to be on a podcast, right? And they only want a certain they want me to be interviewed at a certain time. So I have to be open to the times that they're available. So you have to be open to different things as an entrepreneur and um I just wanted to free I freed myself recently. So I wanted to be able to free someone else and let you know that um it's your business, right? It's your business. You're going to grow it and you're running it the way that you want to. Of course, you're going to get help, seek help, whatever you want to do, but it's yours. It's your business. You're, uh, you're growing it. Take the time and adjust and do what you need to do. And don't think 
that you're failing because you're not doing it the way that everybody else is. Because there is no blueprint to building a business. No one has the secret sauce, right? You are the secret sauce. What's in your mind is the secret sauce. So you have to actually take that and now cook up what you need to cook up. And that takes time, right? So the point of this chat today with you is to let you know that it's your business. You're growing it. Take the time to do what you need to do. And if that means that you have to stay at your nine to five, stay at your nine to five. If that means that you have to work on your business on the weekends, that is perfectly okay, right? Because I like working. I do want to make more income. <laughs> um, and I'm looking into that, but I like having a steady paycheck. I like knowing that this money is coming in every week, every two weeks, whatever it is. And I also like the satisfaction that I'm I'm also able to do my own thing. I'm able to do my own thing on the whenever I want on the weekends um and I'm able to to create what needs what I want, right? What I what I what I want to see out in this world. And that's that. So, yeah. So I did. I covered it all. So I just wanted to um free you cuz um you'll see a lot of things out there and a lot of people are biz building their businesses the way that they want to and that is perfectly fine. I don't judge anybody. I don't um whatever people need to do to build their business and to grow, that's fine. Just know you're growing your own. Take your time. Do what needs to get done. And um, that's it. So my name is Lisa Lana Ola from lisalanaola.com. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to this channel. And if you know an entrepreneur that is new, <laughs> like myself, I'm going to be sharing more about the journey of entrepreneurship because a lot of times we see things on the internet that are just, um, you know, follow me, you'll get six figures, follow me, you'll get five figures, do what I do and all this kind of stuff. And it's, it makes you, it feel, makes you feel sad when you don't have that. And I wanted to let you know that it's okay. It's okay to build slow. It's okay to build steadily. It's okay to work because I love working. It's okay to work. It's okay to build whenever you, you can. It's okay. That's okay. You know, and that's fine. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share it with somebody who you know needs a little bit of motivation in their entrepreneurship journey. And I love you. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week. Bye.